Hello, my name is Michael Kern. I'm the director of the William D. Ruckles House Center at Washington State University and the University of Washington. And I'm pleased to be hosting a four part webinar series on collaboration for the Ag Forestry Leadership Program in April of 2021. Collaborative governance has become a buzzword in some fields and an umbrella term that's used for processes that can be quite different from one another. But at their most basic, collaboration means to work together, to co labor. And governance means managing the affairs of a group of people like a government, but also like a business or a nonprofit, a church, a team, et cetera. So we're gonna look at what it means to use the tools and techniques of collaboration to work together to improve governing. On April 7th, I'll provide an introduction to collaborative governance, going over some of the key concepts and ideas and stages of collaborative policy making what it means to resolve complex public policy challenges by bringing together representatives of diverse viewpoints to craft solutions that meets everybody's interests and needs. Then on April 14th, I'll be back to introduce concepts of collaborative competencies, which is gonna give you a chance to think about how you can build your leadership skills and prepare yourself to successfully collaborate. All the attendees at that workshop are going to receive the University Network for Collaborative Governance's Guide to Collaborative Competencies, which includes a self-assessment tool, and that's thanks to the Ag Forestry Leadership Program. On April 21st, my colleague Amanda Murphy is going to explore the first phase of a collaborative governance process, which is the situation assessment. I know you're going to learn a lot from, uh, from that about how you can apply that to your own work, regardless of what it is that you do. Then we'll wrap up the series on April 28th in conversation with members of the Ruckles House Center Advisory Board who've participated in many large and small collaboratives. Paul Ward of the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission is a Yakima Nation member as well as an Ag Forestry alum. And Urban Eberhardt is a cherry orchardist and a member of the Kittitas Reclamation District Board. And the two of them tend to be not only very informative but also pretty entertaining when we get them together. So these sessions, uh, they're going to be held over the lunch hour, uh, which is in order to help make participation easier. And though they're going to be webinars, uh, we're going to look for ways to make them interactive. So I think they're going to be pretty enjoyable, and we hope that you'll join us. So I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Thanks.